de Germer Mat, un membre amant et Bourguembré et Sinclair, Péguir en dénamant, dans la radio, un autre, David Pitson, also Great Oberhu, di Robin Brez, à Bourguembré, et veut juste, à Mont Arraio, dans le display qu'on a Oberhu, d'ailleurs. Et Spiamus, c'est vos détenus. Que Péguir, dans un peu du cram, sont écrits en deux vores, et veut juste. Ou une vore qui vaut de ma, Uh, I saw a chydigan am y cysylltiadau rhwng Llydaw a Chymru nhw wedi gyfeirio at weithiau um, Mr. David Peterson o St. Clair. Uh, hynny yw oherwydd i cysylltiadau diwylliannol uh, a hefyd i ddiddordeb methau Llydawig. I'm very pleased to be here uh, to talk a little uh, at the start about the links between Brittany and Wales and not least the works of Mr. David Peterson, who goes most years to the area near Pampul in order to paint and reflect on all the richness of cultural life in Brittany and the links between Wales and this ancient land, uh, the ancient land of Brittany, with which we have so close uh, a bond and so great an affection. What I want to say in this exhibition, Geoffrey, is that actually I keep sketchbooks. I've got hundreds of sketchbooks. So wherever I go in the world, I draw and I paint. And it becomes second nature to me. I am a sculptor, but actually I do a lot of drawing in my sketchbook. And actually, this is the first time I've ever had an exhibition of my sketches. So there are hundreds and hundreds of these. The, what I, what I want people to understand is that all you need to go sketching is a, a sketchbook and some paint and a pencil. Sit down and all you need is the time, you know, half an hour, an hour, and you can capture that memory. That, that. So when you, when you revisit it, you, you remember, oh yeah, those birds were singing or the, the, the tide was coming in. Oh, do you remember that amazing sunset that picked up the most extraordinary thing? This is at Les Adrieux. But these are all from L'Oreal, the, the, the Roman lighthouse, the mill that's there, and the, the gardens of uh, Hotel Gabriel, which are stunningly beautiful. If we move down a bit, We've got um, the Côte d'Amour, where I have a, a studio, and this is the field next door to me in Rue Daniel. And they were these huge bales of straw, and that, I promise you, was the colour. That was the colour of the, the field when it was cut. It was fantastically powerful yellow. And the, these are... Uh, beaches around, boats in the beaches, and La Royale, which is a very, very famous um, beach with a fantastic island in the middle. And then we come back to La roche which is a cultural centre of Breton culture, where they have exhibitions, they have Breton dancing, and Breton music, and Breton literature, and all things Breton. And it's about five miles from where I am, so I go there often to concerts and just to really soak in the Breton atmosphere, which is, and it, it's just stunningly beautiful. And this is the Trieur, which comes out at Pont Trieur, which is the biggest town near me, which is an artist town, strangely enough. So if you're an artist, you get a free um, rent and you have a gallery where you don't have to pay uh, a commercial rent. Okay, these two paintings from a sketchbook are the beach at uh, the, the Bougales, and actually they join. That is there. <laughs> and I did them one day, and then it was such a beautiful light. 
I did the next, the, the following day. And, and that's, the light in Northern Brittany is very similar to the light here. It's, um, Graham Sutherland, the artist, said that the particular quality of the light on peninsulas like St. David's and, and all that is due to the, the maximum amount of water in the atmosphere and the water from around it, that it, it gives the color and the light quality from the sun an incredible enhancement. And it's the same with the Côte d'Amour, that the colors are so clear and, and that is rare, that is so rare. So we've got these two here and then there's a, a, a mill, a water mill. When the sea comes in, it drives the mill. And when it goes out, you've just got it left. But that's the same two years difference. But uh, it's a, a beautiful, beautiful image. Moving on to Pampol, which is the main uh, city in the north of uh, Brittany. Every two years, they have a sea shanty, sea shanty festival, Chance de Marie. And I sit there and listen to the beautiful music and I can't help but draw and paint. Oh, and I drink wine as well. These are looking across at the abbey from um, Carité, that's right, Anse de Carité. And Pampol is up there. We've now got the same area uh, near Pampol the Ile de Blanche and it's, it's just very close to there and this, if you keep going there you end up in Pampol, the main harbour. You go round from Pampol and you come to the most extraordinary um, phenomena. This is the Sillon de Talbert which is a world heritage site. There's a spit of land that goes out three kilometers and it's quite a it, people start to walk very few finish it that is to say they can't make the far bit of it and they walk back but that is an extraordinary phenomena and it's just a beautiful place to be in and then these are some more from la roche yegu um, this is a looking down at the tree the river and then here is Le Gouf, which is a, a small house built between two rocks, surrounded by the sea. It's quite extraordinary. As I'm a sculptor, I thought it would be good to have one of my sculptures here. And one of the beauties and wonders of living in St. Clair's is there are three rivers, two major rivers, and they have swans on them. And so this is one of my swans. I've made about 30 or 40 sculptures of swans. And this one is a swan because when I was doing a bit of vacuuming, the vacuum looked just like the body of a swan. And then I thought, well, we'll put the neck on and suddenly it becomes a vacuum swan. Now on a great and Tommy to a Benny store, as we do now, Spiamus and Please do a brass canoe or well out an air on Ive. Peguia, an author David Pitson, in this display, it guarantees a calzane gant a seven at your eprise and got a fro. To in a hundred of all, probably call a cable welder, clean your hand, a man go sick of your vote. I'm going to talk to Mr. David Peterson. And when he did that, he did not need to be able to talk about it hefyd i gariad tuag ati. I'm delighted to be able to see these um, pictures and the sketchbook, if you like, and also to hear Mr. David Peterson's comments. It's quite clear that he has a great love for Brittany and its culture, and long may it be so. Ac yn awr, dwi'n eisiau agor yr afan gosfa hon, yn uh, ffurfiol megis, Vraiment, euh, quant à Mus, da Zigor, en trop à mon, and I'm very pleased now to declare officially that this very interesting, worthwhile exhibition is open for you to enjoy and see, and perhaps learn a 
little bit more about the fascinating links between Wales and Brittany.